All right, Revelers, welcome to a new segment we have here on Revelbots.com. This is called Books versus Movies, where we take a book and a movie of the same kind, and we compare them and see which one we think is better. So we're going to start with this week's version, which is World War Z, critically acclaimed book, critically acclaimed movie. Shari, what are your thoughts on this? Well, Max Brooks' uh, book is a highly acclaimed novel of World War Z, an oral history of the zombie war. Gripping, realistic, it's a collection of accounts um, that spans years, from the very first inkling of the disaster ahead, right to the very last steps of the war. Okay. Kit? Uh, yeah, all that book stuff sounds nice, but the movie had Brad Pitt. Okay. Um, Shari, uh, book versus movie. Okay. Well, in the book, um, it has a description of um, social and political climate, religious, environmental changes, and all of this before and after the zombie apocalypse. All right. How do you, how do you combat that, Kit? Uh, once again, that sounds great, but the movie had Brad Pitt. Man, that is the strangest thing, I swear to God. Um, Shari, any other points to prove your point? Okay, well, Contents of Books looks at the themes of survivalism, corporate greed, man's hubris, you know, pride is a huge thing here, but also sacrifice, patriotism, spirituality, responsibility, despair, and in the end, hope. What say you to that, Kit? Actually, I agree. Just kidding. The movie had Brad Pitt. Where the hell is this choir coming from? Anyway, do um, you have any other points that you'd like to share with Kit to try to sway him? Well, you know, as I said, it's a collection of interviews. Um, this covers like a true cross-section of humanity. People from various um, ethnic backgrounds, from different countries, from different, different um, social statuses, and all this into a very compelling story. That is very true. I, I don't know how you can combat that. Kit? Uh, I can combat it right now with two words. Brad Pitt. <laughs> Seriously, how are you doing this, bro? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm like a god. Well, apparently so is he. Sherry, any final points uh, that you want to make before we close this argument out? Well, I can say that the book was a bestseller. It um, spent four weeks on the New York Times bestseller list, and it peaked at number nine. Brad Pitt. That's some of the creepiest stuff I've ever seen here. Well, I guess that's all we have for this week's uh, edition of Books vs. Movies. Stay tuned for our next riveting riveting segment where we will uh, have another great book versus movie for you. And until then, for Shari and Kit, I'm Dr. Rips. Bing, bing.